YouTube, what's good? Y'all thought I forgot about you. You thought I was going to mess up and not post my day 11 video, but I didn't. I ain't forget. I just been busy taking care of some things. And now y'all finna see some greatness. Today, we are going over the best small forward build that you can make. Now, disclaimer, this build is literally not for wreck. I would not use this build in wreck because it ain't got no free throw off rip. Now, if you guys want me to make a build, that has free throw included in it for wreck, I will do so. But I'm gonna have to go over this and tell you why. If you are new to the channel, if you are new to the page, if you are wondering who is this guy, make sure to smack that sub button, leave a like, and leave a comment on this section about what you think about the build. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And I forgot to say, 100 likes. You heard? All right, YouTube, without further ado, let's get into the build. Now, first thing you're gonna wanna do is make a small fort that is 6'6", 180 pounds with a 6'10 wingspan. It don't matter what you wanna do here, all right? So go over in deep detail as to why I chose this and why this works for me and why I like it how it is, okay? Now, when I first was making my build, I decided that I was making my build to still be similar to what the power forward build was last year to just even check and see if it was possible to do something along the lines of that i liked being tall i liked having the ability to dribble and i felt like that was going to be going to be something that i really wanted to do again so off rip i already knew that the power forward build was going to be a little tough so we went straight to small forward and messed around with what we got here okay now i'm about to go into deep detail as to why i chose the way that things are because i've been playing my career and it'll make a lot more sense uh now than it ever will any other time okay so here's the thing i'm gonna start here okay so you can so it's kind of like lights up for you okay so the driving we we'll go from the top to bottom all right so from the driving dunk at, at rank 90 or attribute 90 you get the basically the pro dunks the uh real good dunks the ones that um make some noise you feel me 99 is when it goes to where you can get like posterizer hall of fame but you also get uh posterizer at i believe gold at 92 which was really important so i left that there layup you really ain't really out here just doing layups like that you know what i mean so i didn't feel like you needed to have a layup be massively high if you have a lane you want your guy to dunk it right not do a layup so i feel like 70 layup is pretty cool y'all can change it mess around with it do whatever you want to do all that type of crap doesn't really matter now keep in mind this build is not for wreck but i could make one and make that happen y'all just let me know in the comments if you want to so with the mid-range shot, you don't even really need a high mid-range. Honestly, this is overkill. Um, you don't need a high mid-range at all. If, if, I, and if I were to go back right now and mess around with my new build, I would probably have this be like a 72. And I'm no kizzy, no cap. Not even joking. Because then I would take that and put this on maybe like, uh, maybe like offensive rebound or something or defensive rebound. Because look how much that just went up, right? It, it frees up so much stuff. You know what I mean? So I probably would have done that because you, you when are you really out here shooting mid ranges like that? You might do it every now and then, but you really not. But since we're talking about the build that I went with, um, then yeah. But here's what you can take your mid range up to 91 and leave it there. Now, the reason why I have pass accuracy at so at 85, you get it at um, you get it bullet pass or at gold. Do you absolutely need bullet pass or at gold? You could probably get away with it at silver, but I wanted it at gold to be able to mess around with some stuff. Um, I then found out that if you are a big fan of bailout that at 86, you can take your, uh, bailout to gold. So then you can leave that there if you wanted to keep in mind, like I said, if you want to take the mid range down and you can add a bunch of more stuff in here to get a lot more playmaking badges to do, like I said, it could really do a lot of stuff with this build, um, ball handle. The reason why it's at 85 is because that's when you get all the pro dribbles, which is really good. Um, speed with ball. You could even take this down and then take the speed with ball up if you wanted to, but I have mine personally at 80 and it feels nice, especially once you get, um, the, uh, uh, quick, quick step gold. Um, so that feels really nice. You really do end up blowing by people and stuff like that. Now perimeter defense. The reason why I have mine at 94 is because I want to claim to the hall of fame and still I have it at 90 and I have that so that I can end up getting a uh, pickpocket at uh gold which i am an absolute fan of and also interceptor at not inter, not pickpocket interceptor at uh hall of fame um but i actually think now i'm actually just going to use it at gold but anyway at the time i built this just for um interceptor at hall of fame now i am going to give you guys something that a lot of people don't know and maybe they do know maybe they don't know i have been getting 
a stupid amount of steals right now. And I, I know y'all probably will be this dude. It's the beginning of the game. So uh, I know you've been getting this stupid amount you because ain't nobody got nothing. They, they bad. Just trash. They attributes just trash. No, not only have I been getting steals in my career really, really easy. I average like 15, 16 steals a game. And I'm talking on ball steals. I'm not talking. I'm in the lane just snatching stuff. Although I do that too. I literally steal the ball 10, 12, 13 times a game just on ball. Um, but I went and started playing part today too. And I'm literally straight, straight killing them, bro. They be doing all these dribbles moves and I'm just taking the ball from them. And I don't know if it's because my guy is taller, his wingspan and what it is. But when I made my point guard build, I could not get any steals. So this build, I don't know what it is, allows you to get more steals. And I don't know why, but just keep that in mind. So if you are a defensive type of person as well, this does allow you to do that. Now speed, I did 84, acceleration 84. Vertical, you can actually take down to 80 because that's all you need it to be to be able to get all the best dunks and stuff. I didn't know that at the time, but I had it at 85. But you, like I said, you can take that down to 80 and then you can mess with some more stuff um, and all that. This build here is phenomenal, okay? It's literally phenomenal. But keep in mind, like I said, if you wanna take this down, you could take this down, take up your free throw. Now you have a rec build. You literally go like this, 88. Boom, now you have a rec build. Literally, boom, boom, rec build. There you go. So you could do that if you wanted to. You could leave this the same. You could even keep this at 90. Like there's so much stuff that you can do that allows you to now, now you have a rec build. You know what I mean? You can go crazy. If I had known all of this when I initially made my build, I probably would have been so much better in the way that I made my build than what I ended up doing now. Um, but unfortunately I didn't know that. So it is what it is. You guys are getting the, the best of the best of the possible builds that you can get. Um, and like I said, if you're, if you're not going to play rec at all, you can even take this down and be like, you know what? I kind of want some more defense on here. So let me drop that and then go to defensive rebound. Right? Oh, wait, I don't like this. I, I don't need I, base. I don't need my mid range shot high. All right. Well, let me drop that to 80 and then I can take this up more. You know what I mean? And then you give it, maybe even put it on block. Like there's a lot of different things that you can do. You drop your vertical down to 80, which adds in more stuff that you can do right there's a lot of different things that you could do with this build especially where you're at now but all the stuff allows you to get all the the badge points that you need it's up to you guys to really mess around with the mid-range shot to determine what you need but for what i do know for sure you do not need high attributes in shooting to be able to shoot consistent greens you don't so my opinion to y'all is to go ahead and lower that um and, and then put it in other points to make yourself really be all around right now. Like I said, I don't have any offensive rebound or defensive rebound. Um, so yeah, I would go and I would add some of that stuff to it to even make yourself be more all around and really be able to, uh, be more of a pest, um, overall. Cause that this build feels even better than the one that I currently have, but I'm already deep into it. So I'm just going to stick it out and just deal with it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this is a, this is even better than the build that I currently have. Go figure. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, man. You guys have a great rest of your day. Day 11, day 12, I will see you back tomorrow. Or I will see you guys back here tomorrow. I don't even know what video I'm going to do. Maybe I'll show you guys some gameplay. I have no idea. But I'm about to stream for about another 10 hours. So when you're watching this video, feel free to go to twitch.tv slash soar invade. If you guys want to see me streaming on there, we'll be on Twitch. And we're just going to be playing park and just grinding it's Friday. So feel free to do what you guys want to do. I'm going to catch you guys later. I'm out.